Today on BladeHQ.com, we're taking a look at the Boker CLB. Nice little fixed blade neck knife. And this is part of the Boker Plus line. So it is in the budget range, $33 on this one. The overall length on it is 5.6 inches. The blade length is two inches, made from 440C stainless steel. With it, it's got this nice uh, black coating on it as well. A little bit of jimping that you can see. 440C right there. It is made in China. So if that's a moral dilemma for you, this one's probably not for you. I know there are some people who enjoy USA made. But for the price and the quality, I think this is a very nice knife. That jimping isn't super aggressive. You can see kind of how my thumb is running across it. But at the same time, you get enough pressure on there and it's going to work just fine. Skeletonized handle, so you could wrap 550 cord around that if you'd like. One thing I like about this is in the hand, there are some neck knives that I feel like don't have a ton of real estate to get your hand on. This one fits, I mean, you can see where it fits to in my hand. And at the same time, they've, they put this uh, lanyard on it for you, so you've got more real estate for your pinky. So that's going to add to the support in the hand. Now that edge isn't beveled at all, so you might end up with a, a few hot spots here and there. But this is, a, this is kind of a last ditch tool. I mean, if you're using this intensely all the time, you probably want to go with a different knife. But for what this is and what it costs, not a bad gig at all. It comes with a Kydex sheath, fits in there nicely, not going anywhere till you want it to. And it also comes with a ball and ball chain so you can carry it around your neck. So that's a, the basic rundown on this knife. Uh, it's fairly light. I don't have the weight right in front of me, but uh, if you were carrying this around your neck, I think you would get used to the weight on it, and you just roll with it. So, anyway, if you have any questions on this knife and you're watching it, watching this video on YouTube, feel free to leave those questions in the comments, and I'll respond as quickly as I can. And, uh, by the way, buy this knife at BladeHQ.com.